there. I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com and this is my smart American accent training. In this video, we'll look at how to pronounce millimeter. The word millimeter has four syllables and the stress falls on the first syllable mill. In the dictionary, you're going to see a little line before the stress syllable. So if you're looking it up and you're trying to make sense of what you see in the IPA there, look for the little line. That tells you that mill is going to be held longer than the rest of the word and it's going to have a clear vowel. The letter I in mill, the first letter I, says the I vowel, like in it and did. And if it's difficult for you to put that in with an L, you can check out my video for the words fill and feel. That'll help you get that ill sound. You also can start with just the I sound or the mi sound. A word like mit or uh, myth might help you um, to say that first. It doesn't have the L. Mit and mill, you want to match that it mill, that I vowel. Then this next letter I is going to say a schwa. It's going to sound like a. Uh. That's because the second syllable is unstressed, milla, millimeter. You might see it also written as an I in the dictionary, um, but it's going to be a, a very short, reduced I sound. So it doesn't matter too much if I say milla or milla, millimeter. Um, you just don't want it to be long. You don't want millimeter or milli. Definitely not an E sound there. So a reduced vowel in the second syllable, milla, milla. Then we have a little secondary stress here on the meter part and the clear E vowel for this letter E. So I've rewritten that here for you with two E's. It's just like the word me. Make sure you have a nice bright E sound. Um, so again, you can start by practicing on that secondary stress syllable, like meter, a meter, millimeter. Um, you can also break it milla, meter. Whatever way helps you get those correct vowel sounds and rhythm is gonna be great. Then in American English, this T sounds a little more like a D. It's a flap. It's between two vowels. Lots of words that end in T-E-R, we use a flap, um, meter, um, water, etc. If you think about it like a D, that might help you. And then just make sure that for American English, again, you want a tight er sound at the end. Not an uh, not millimeter, but millimeter er. Again, you can build it from the back if that helps you. Er, der, meter, millimeter. Once you can say millimeter by itself, use it in some um, context where you would actually use it. And also make sure you remember for millimeters that we end with the Z sound, millimeters. It's 20 millimeters in thickness. Um, we need four more millimeters of length, etc. cetera. Um, thank you for this request. request. If you have a request you'd like to see me cover in the Word of the Day series, feel free to leave it in the comments for this video or any of my videos. I'll be back again tomorrow with another Word of the Day class as well as on Friday, we'll have our live question and answer class. Hope to see you there. I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com. Remember, if you want to sound like a native speaker, you can do it. Speechmodification.com. Bye everyone. Hope to see you again soon.